This color and texture is doing it for me. I absolutely am loving this for holiday season. Thanksgiving, it's coming up next week. This will probably be the wig that I wear for Thanksgiving this year. This wig is from one of my favorite brands to work with, Arabella Hair. Y'all know that every single wig that I have tried from this company never disappoints y'all. And how could this wig disappoint? Like what? This hairline looks really bomb. The color of this wig looks really nice. I didn't do any baby hair. I did not even define the curls on this wig and it just looks so good. This is their deep wave texture. I got this wig in 26 inches and it is a 13 by four lace frontal wig, y'all. This hairline already came pre-plucked. Since this hair is already dyed, the knots were already light in color. So all I did was go in and add concealer down the parting area, and it looks so good. I love it. And did I mention how full this hair is? Look at this fullness. Oh, and did I mention that this wig is 180% density? It's given like 200. What do y'all think? We're gonna unbox this wig together. I'm gonna share all the specs. We are going to install this wig and style her today. If you would like to see how I did all that, y'all know what to do, definitely keep on watching. So my wig arrived package inside of this box. It also came with some freebies per usual. And then here is the natural texture of the hair. It was wrapped in a bit of netting to protect the hair, but the curl pattern is a deep wave texture. It is 26 inches long and it has a 13 by four inch pre-plucked lace frontal wig, y'all. So the hairline already looks bomb. It has one wig comb in the back. No other wig combs or adjustable straps are included inside of this wig, but they do give you an adjustable strap if you would like to add it onto your wig. There's an area for you to just put it on yourself. So to install this wig, we are going to remove that extra lace around the ear area first so that when we install the wig, it sits very nice to our hairline. After I remove the excess lace around my ears, I always take my ear and make sure the wig is pulled down behind my ear so that the lace is sitting nice and flush with my hairline like I'm doing right here. I'm using something different to lay my wig today and I actually liked it. It's the Ebon Wonder Lace Bond Holding Gel, the Supreme one. And this stuff is super like sticky, but it's hard to kind of work with. So you definitely want to make sure not too much comes out, but because it's so sticky, it allows your wig to just like grip to it. So I absolutely love that. It's a little messy, you know, at first, but it really grips your wig, which is bomb. And then I'm using the other side of my edge brush to just smooth out the gel so it's nice and flat to my skin for us to install it. And then it's said to wait for this to get tacky to install the wig. And I definitely agree. You can kind of see it's getting quite tacky and you can see like the stickiness coming up. So let's go ahead and lay the lace down. I'm going to take my comb and push that lace into the holding gel so that we can get a nice grip and that this lace will be melted and laid, okay? I feel like this step is the most important when you're laying your wig because depending on how you do this step, your wig install might not look that bomb. So make sure you take your time with laying the lace. And I am gonna go in with my Silver Bird blow dryer on a cool setting to set that. And then we're gonna go ahead and use the melting band to melt this lace. I'm gonna keep it on for 10 minutes. Now we're back taking it off and then I'm going to cut off that excess lace around my hairline so that we can get it nice and melted y'all. 
I'm going super slow with removing my lace today because I normally use really small scissors to do this. Y'all know I use my eyebrow scissors to normally cut off the excess lace, but I couldn't find them. I don't know where they're at. So I'm using these big ass shears and so I'm just taking my time because I don't want to cut my forehead, my skin, my hair, anything. So your girl is moving a little slow, okay? So once all of that excess lace has been removed, it's time to really melt the lace into our skin. And I love using the Ebon Melting Spray and the Supreme Black Spray Bottle, y'all. This product is so good. I use it pretty much every time I lay my wigs, lace frontal, closure. Anytime I'm using any type of gel, glue, spray, adhesive for my wigs, I always double melt it. I love that. So I'm putting my melting band on once again. So I did my makeup live off camera, y'all. I did it on TikTok. I had a really good time. If you're not following me on TikTok, be sure to follow me on TikTok. I will have my screen name listed up top in the corner for y'all. This is what the hairline is looking like. I feel like it looks really nice. And here is the texture and color of the hair. It looks really, really pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a middle parting today. So I'm gonna part the hair down the middle. And then I'm going to take my Ebon Wax Tamer and slick down this middle parting. Next, I'm gonna take a little bit of my olive oil spritz and run it down the parting area. And y'all know what time it is. It is time for my hot comb. I'm gonna go ahead and get this parting area nice and flat. Just the very top, y'all. I don't wanna mess up all the curls. And I'm gonna do the same in this back area. Don't be afraid to go and use the back of the hot comb as well to get this parting area super flat. Since this hair is like a medium warm tone brown, it's very close to my skin color. I definitely want to go in and add concealer down the parting to make it look more natural. So I'm going to use my MAC Pro Conceal and Correct palette and I'm using the shade in the corner here which is NW40, and I'm just gonna run it down the center of the parting. As you can see, that definitely brought the parting area to life, y'all. Now you can see that parting, which is gonna make the wig look more natural, like it's growing out of the scalp. Next, I'm gonna sleep down the front of this hair, right by the hairline. And I'm not using the hairspray, I'm just gonna go in with the wax stick for this one, y'all. And then I'm gonna do the same on this side as well. Lastly, I'm gonna take a little bit of this Garnier Moroccan Sleek Oil Treatment, put it in my hand, and I'm gonna run it down the top of the hair here because this got a little bit frizzy when I was doing my makeup and just trying to part the hair and everything. And I don't wanna go in and define these curls because I like the way that they look right now. And because this hair is colored, it may, take a little bit longer to air dry. So I'm just gonna keep it like this and then we're just gonna poof out the hair a little bit. Y'all know how I do. Let's get this back part like just a little bigger. I'm gonna use a wide tooth comb just on this back nape area to make this hair a little bit more full. I'm not gonna get the top at all, just the back. And this is the look, y'all. What do you think? Do you like it? 
So here is the finished look. Y'all already know I'm obsessed with curly hair, chocolate, brown, curly hair. I'm here for it. I love it. I think it looks super bomb. Definitely try this wig out. If you're interested in checking out this wig from Arabella Hair, I will leave a link down below for y'all as well as any coupon codes that they provide me with. And if you have not already checked out my latest video, what are you doing, baby? Don't go nowhere. Definitely click the box and stay tuned.